Good morning, sir. Good morning. What do you have there? Uh, I have, a, I think it's a recapture evaporator job. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to figure out one, a place to put it. Looks like the corner over there in the engine compartment might be a spot. I'd prefer to stick it in the back somewhere if you can find it by the wheel or something. But Frogman here will get underneath and find mm. the best spot for it. So by one o'clock today, it'll be installed. I hope. Yeah. We have some problems. We don't know where all these tubes go and how they work. Yeah, details, details. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, this part of this video is for Pete, uh, Trans Am Muscle Machines, uh, who has uh, 78 Trans Am, I think. Sorry if I got that wrong. Um, who has an E-Rod in California, um, trying to figure out how to get it through the referee and all that stuff. So he's got his own issues, but he had a shop do all this work for him. Um, not entirely correctly, but he had all the work done. Um, and so the two of us have been going back and forth trying to figure some things out. So, Pete, um, what I need from you, if I can get it, this right here, this is the evaporator purge solenoid right here. So I saw this on the picture of your engine. It's right in the same place. So this tube here goes into the intake and then coming off the other side of this, there's a hose here. That hose, ow. Oh, that felt good. Damn it. I forget that part. That hose goes right here on this evaporator canister. See, it says purge on it. So A, where is this canister in your car? Like I said, mine, I'm gonna stick it right there, but I don't know where yours ended up. Um, that's part one. Uh, part two is this line here, which is the vent line. Um, this is the one that Pops and I were gonna work on today. This has to go all the way back to the tank. Um, and I'm curious, again, on your car, if there's any valves or anything along the way. Um, we're gonna be putting a rollover valve in there, um, but what else might be there? And then number three, uh, the E-Rod instructions do not call for anything on this port right here. This is the vent to air port. Um, I looked this up. This canister is from a C5 Corvette. And on a C5 Corvette, there is a vent solenoid on this one where you can control whether this thing vents to atmosphere or not. The E-Rod does not come with that as far as I can see. Um, and there's nothing in the instructions about it. So it seems like you leave this open. If you left this open, this is for everybody else who's watching. Um, then you can't seal this system, so you can't do the vacuum tests and stuff, so I don't understand how that works. Um, but Pete, um, those three lines there, if you can find where those go on your car and where this canister is, um, that would be really helpful. Let me know. Um, okay, so. Did I destroy my leg? Eh, not too bad. Yeah, that thing's brutal yeah, on these cars. I've had a few of those. But with pants on. All right, so last week we put the tank in and we left the vent line floating in space there. So now today we've got to get that run. Um, I have the vent line running along the rocker under the car there. It pops out over here somewhere. You can't see it, but it's under there. So we're going to run that line up to here, put the canister in, put the vent solenoid line in. Um, and as I said, we're going to do the rollover valve. Um, where's the other part of the rollover valve? Is it over here? I can't find it. Um, whatever. Um, anybody who bought a Tanks Inc. Here it is. This thing. Let me screw those two things. Yeah, it's fine. Uh -huh. That's why I didn't have to. Um, so this is the rollover valve that comes with the Tanks Inc. kit. Um, and I'd heard a rumor that you could actually use this thing as a proper rollover valve without being vented to atmosphere, and sure enough, don't worry about it. it we don't need that anymore. Uh, so if you screw that off here, you've got a one quarter NPT fitting. Um, so I have a couple of options here. Um, I can do this, and then it becomes a barb to barb rollover valve. Um, I also have a barb to AN6, or sorry, quarter NPT to AN6. So depending on what we want to do there, we'll figure that out. Um, so I need to find this thing, if this has to be perfectly vertical or if it can have a little bit of an angle on it, because I maybe want to put it along the frame rail, which means it'll be like that. And is that okay or not? So we got to figure all that stuff out. Yeah? Yeah, well, what are you waiting for? That all makes sense? Yeah, it does. And Pops cannot complain today because he has an entire ah, ah, bunch of bananas. Um, so he's good. And he likes these bananas when they're overripe, so. 
All right, we got something fabricated here. Let's see how well this works. Um, I was telling Pops originally I thought this vent line I'd be able to run it up inside that tunnel up in there, but there's not enough room between the wheel wells. Um, this has to go out past the edge of the tank. So we're right if you think the car is laying on its side, you want the vent line to be above the fuel tank so that you know, capillary action, whatever, you know, the, the fuel would have to come out of the tank up above beyond the tank and then down to the charcoal canister. <clears throat> so hopefully this will work. Um, and then um, originally I was going to put AN fittings on all this stuff, but since I have my fancy new master cool, uh, we went ahead and put these uh, GM fuel style fittings on there. And I'm just going to put a hose over it since this is just a vent line. It's not a, it's not under pressure, right? Um, we'll just put hose clamps on it so it makes it a lot easier to hook this guy up. <clears throat> this one didn't didn't work properly the first time I did it. Um, I didn't have the clamp tightened enough so it slipped. Um, and then we tried a couple more times and it just didn't really want to work properly. But it's good enough. It's airtight uh, so it doesn't matter. It's a little funky looking but it'll work. Um, so I think in order to fix this we have to cut all of this tubing off here where it slipped through the the grippers there. Um, but anyway, this is fine. It'll work. So I'll get it under the car and then I'll show you what's going on under there. Alrighty. So here we go. So this is the vent line coming off the tank. There's another rollover valve. Roll, then it goes into the vent line here. Let's see, it's right here. This goes all the way around the side here to the side of the tank here. Um, I can slide this thing in and out here a little bit if I need to get it further from the tank. Um, so I left that a little loose, but it's wrapped around the tank there, which is, I think, okay. Um, and then the line comes along here. We could pick up a soft line here, which runs up and around the rear end, down the side here, and then connects to the, the hard line that goes up to the front of the car. So that's it. That is done. All right, we're back up to the front of the car now. So if the canister right here, the hood will close. Um, so this could work. Um, we'll have to fabricate some kind of bracket to hold it in place here. But um, I was looking at somebody else's car. I don't remember who it was, but they have a, a bracket from the bumper that goes from the subframe here to the bumper right through uh, that hole in the subframe right there. I don't remember my car having those. I got the bumper outside and those bars aren't there, but I may have taken them off. Um, but if that's the case, then clearly this isn't going to work. Um, so if anybody knows if the 77s have that bar or not, if that's some option or something or what. Um, so we're going to go with this for the moment. Um, the other option, as we showed before, I think is putting it in sideways. Um, not sure which of those two will be better. This is fine here, except for the AC line right there. So we might have to finagle it around a little bit here like this. I don't know. We'll see. So it conceptually works. Um, we'll just go ahead and run with that. So these guys, um, these did not come with the kit. Um, so I bought these off someplace. I forget the name of it. I'll look it up real quick. www.fittingspace.com I think so. So this one is a 5 8 This one is a 3 16 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was trying to find a 5 8 to 3 8 elbow like this, but I couldn't find one. So this is a 5 8 The hose from there is going to be 3 8 I had to get a reducer to make that work. So this hose goes over here. This hose goes to that thing back in the corner there. And that's all we have to do for today. And that's so we have to figure out if I'm supposed to put something here or not, but I don't know. So go ahead and get this line ready. Okie dokie. So we got this guy here. The reducer is up inside here where you can't see it. And then the hose runs back there. And on the corner there, you can see where it joins up. And then this, this hose here goes up to the purge solenoid. We need, we need to fabricate a bracket for this guy. So I just kind of zip tied this hose out of the way for now. Um, and then we just did the fuel line, the pressure. Uh, coming in the feed line, I should say. As soon as Pops get out of the way, I'll show you. Got it? No. 
you can see coming in right there is the feed line. It's the same thing. We ran these hoses ages ago here. You can see it down there. So we got that. This thing, I'm not sure. This has got one of these quick connects on it. And Pops and I were just looking at that. It seems awfully flimsy. But you just let me know if that's correct. Um, we did pressure test the hose. The hose is good. Um, so that is it for the fuel system. Yay! Time we, to go get some cherries from we, Carol. We got something done. Yes, we did. Um, so I think... We're basically done under here we just need to reconnect all the stuff that we disconnected up in here and uh next weekend uh put mufflers the, put the mufflers and the exhaust on and then and we have to decide if we're going to put the steering column in and the switches and all that stuff or just hook up my little test box and fire the engine that way but we shall see but we are raring to go here where is it where is it ah got a gas can you know this means business <laughs> So that's fun. Um, one of the problems we were looking at on the tank here is the this filler neck. You can see the angle there doesn't really line up very way very well. Um, so we're not really sure if we're going to be able to get that thing to point in the right way. So that's going to be kind of fun. We'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, good day. Yes, that was. We actually finished it. Yep. I was afraid we wouldn't. So we bought this whole thing of tubing here to do those vent lines, and turned out we didn't need it. That's okay. We got a spare for something else. So got 25 feet of 3 8 line with cool. no use for it at the moment. All right, we are going to wrap it up here. Um, anybody, if you have any thoughts on any of that stuff we went over today on the EVAP system, um, Pete, like I said, if you can give me any pointers on how this stuff is done on your car, that would be really helpful. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.